There we go, our winner, Alyssa Bull. Fantastic job. Now we turn our attention to the open male ski race. And they're all back in here again. Sam Fuller, Nick Gale, fantastic uh, ski paddler. Kirk Jarrett as well from Maruchidor. And flip over the second page. It's an all-star cast, Josh. Oh, it's the big men of surf life saving here as we go down the list. Jet Kenny, Jeff Lamarzny, Dylan Newbigan's back after a few years off. Scotty Smith from Rilla Barrack Point. And finishing off with the big man, Lockie Tame, four-time Australian ski race champion. He'll be tough to beat. Yeah, well, that's the question. Every time they race, these open men ski, it doesn't really matter. All eyes on Lockie Tame and the question, can anyone beat him? So hard to beat, such a talent and so powerful. And here we are on screen with him right now. And it's this start, there we go, the gun goes. You're gonna get perfect vision, his guns go and they start pumping. And once that engine gets going, it's really hard to wind down. But starts so critical in a ski race, uh, Josh. Get that speed up and try and keep that momentum to get through any unwanted waves. Oh, it's won and lost in the first 50 metres. And we can see here Lockie Tame just giving it to the rest of the field. There aren't too many who can go with him. And, and it seems like he's jumped on the front and really, really made this race his own at this point. Yeah, he's had a fantastic uh, summer, well, last summer especially, won his fourth Australian title and obviously went away. And as we see one of the competitors off their ski there, and that's race over pretty much. Looks like he's a Jet Kenny there from the home club of Alex. So a long way back, shake of the head, not much he can do. I think that's his race over there. Once these boys get going, there's no catching them. And as we look at it, it's Lockie Tame out in front, really going well. Scotty Smith on the inside, he's positioned perfectly heading into this first can. Yeah, some good job by him, Scotty Smith. Oh, great vision. Have a look at that on the inside. Some beautiful vision there. Well, the rival's going uh, stroke for stroke. And great. A, oh, there's a bit of a push and shove going around that first can. Scotty won't give Lockie any room at all. He, he must, he's a younger guy, but he loves to race and he loves to push him the entire way. Scott's a younger brother of the Olympic gold medalist, Dave Smith, and we can certainly see the talent in the family at this point. Yeah, great to see that. Well, really cap as well in the background, still on board with Lockie Tame. And these onboard shots give you a great idea of copying a, a nose of a ski right in the elbow. That happens all the time in this. And it's the stuff that you don't see at the cans that gives you great insight. There's plenty of, uh, plenty of biff. When you're riding an 18 foot ski around those cans, you're not going to give anyone any room. If you see a gap, you're going to go for it. And, and we can see Lockie cutting back to the left of screen here so he can get a good run. The boys are going all the way down the beach to the right there. You can see they've just jumped on and taken the first thing that they could find. Yeah, so it's definitely a balancing act on the way back. Oh, one off. It looked like a Northcliffe cap just fallen off there. But now coming down these runners and the big battle on here, Lockie Tame still to the uh, left of screen and trying to get in there. A great job there. The Warilla cap on a Mermaid Beach, it looks like. So... Mermaid Beach doing a brilliant job. And there we go. Jeremy Collins, a mermaid. My bad. And into the final stages. So a little bit of a tussle here. Jeremy Collins, a mermaid on the right-hand side. Lockie Tame on the left. Now they start to wind up. It's a sprint finish. They're not used to these sprint finishes. Oh, he's taking the little wave in front. Lockie Tame, he's just taking the direct line. And there we go. The, the chase pack trying to close the gap. But unusual finish. Normally they finish between two flags on their ski. Now it's a sprint finish. But no problem for Lockie Tame. Up he goes. A great job by him. And they come across Jeremy Collins there from Mermaid Beach in second spot. Really tight for third. Scott Smith in there. Cam Cole from Malulabar. Saw Wes Berg in there as well. But there we go. Open mail ski race final. And Lockie Tame, well, he led it from the start. Had to do a bit of work at the end to take the win. Maximum points. Uh, Jeremy Collins finished really well from Mermaid Beach. Chased those runners back brilliantly. And Scott Smith rounds out the top three there from the south coast of New South Wales. Warilla Barrack Point. And go to the second page there. And a couple of veterans, and we saw a couple of those mistakes. Fortunately, Jet Kenny's race over early on, but no doubt about the winner, Lucky Tame. Australian champion, world champion, now summer surf, ski champion, Lachlan Tame, congratulations. Cheers, guys. It's a great event. It's been three quick races and done and dusted. I can go home now and have a beer. Mate, it, uh, it looked pretty close at the end there. You had, to, you had to use that run up the beach. How tough was it? Yeah, it's actually pretty tiring. I've had a big week of training. Now I'm ready for this. And... Run up the beach, it stings, it stings the legs, we're not made for that. Mate, it was a high quality field out there, wasn't it? Some of the best paddlers in the country? Yeah, there's first and second from Worlds and third from Aussies last year, so it's, it's a good event and hopefully it keeps on kicking on for the summer. Mate, congratulations on the first win and good luck for the rest of the series. Thanks for having me. So here we go, we leave the surf and onto the sand. Up next, the open female and male beach flags final. Yeah.